Hey guys, Tony Smith with Denison Yachty and behind me you're going to see a brand new 2021 Lagoon 40. Uh, this boat is here in Fort Lauderdale. It's with the local dealer, uh, which is uh, Atlas, and uh, it's available for immediate sale. So my clients, feel free to reach out directly to me. Uh, and again, it is here in Fort Lauderdale. It's dealer stock, won't last long. There's not a whole lot of catamarans on the market, and this one has a ton of value. So we're gonna flip the camera around, take a quick little walk through this boat. Let us know in the comments below what your thoughts are. Okay, so starting here on the port hall of the Lagoon 40, few things that are going to stand out right away. Uh, the main thing that jumps out at me is these large hall side windows that you see here. Now down in the cabins you're going to notice we've got a ton of visibility in this boat. And then also note you do have a hard chine on that water line. And why they do that is they want to have the uh, hull relatively narrow while it's slicing through the water and then expands out to give you a little bit more interior volume on this boat. And also note the uh, nice vertical windows that you have on the Lagoon. Really sharp looking rig with this 2021 Lagoon 40. On the aft of the boat, the port side hull, you're gonna notice you get a nice rugged swim platform to uh, board the boat. And then you've got uh, some uh, lifelines there that will protect you. And then you've got a really cool davit system. And so this is for a High Field Tender, which is specifically branded for the Lagoon catamarans. We got some stainless steel davits there that allow you to easily pull it up. And then we do have a hard top in our cockpit. So that, can, that area is uh, completely able to be sealed off to protect you from the weather. And you'll note both on port and starboard on these sugar scoops here, you've got nice extensions. So this extension goes back, it looks at least a foot and so that's really great to board this boat from the side. You'll note you do have a boarding entrance here if you have a ladder and the boat is going up and down. But when you're here at this type of floating dock, you can just step right on board the side without a ladder or anything like that. So I'm going to pull it on over and we're going to make this easy step here without even worrying. Okay, we've got our helm area there on the starboard and then looking across our nice cockpit area here. You know we have integrated storage underneath the seating here, nice deep storage. See we got it opened up here, show you you can stow some lines or fenders or whatnot. And again there's your swim ladder. You will note that you do have a hot and cold shower here so you can rinse off after you take a swim. Nice storage area there for lines and this is a emergency bilge pump here. Okay, we're gonna open the engine room real quick and take a look. Okay, so on the uh, port side, we've got the engine room opened up. And what you'll see is we've got really, really great access to hop down in there. This boat does have the sail drive, so we're able to push the motors further back than the uh, traditional straight shaft. And then you see here, just really great access down into the engine room. Now one small detail on this, you'll note here on the port sugar scoop, that hatch opens to the aft. And so what you'll see is it actually creates a safe area here. So if you're underway and in waves, you can hop up and down really, really nicely. Okay, looking back across the cockpit, nice teak table, some L-shaped seating there, opposing seats, and then the seats to the aft. Like again, here's our tender. Up above, you'll see the area that we can zip in the Isinglass and really protect this whole area. And then here's your helm on the starboard side. So you know we can hop up there really easily. We've got one, two, three steps right up. So the captain can be in the conversation with everyone else. And uh, we've got everything that we need here at the helm. So all your control lines come here. This does have a little bimini top on its own and that will uh, zip up so you can get this area totally protected from the weather. You do have the B&G controls. And then here's your traditional throttle controls. And down below the wheel, you're gonna see you've got your uh, Yanmar engine monitoring systems. So here we can easily step out on the starboard hull. You know, we've got uh, some handrails here that we can grab onto. All the hatches are flush. 
and then they are set up so if you take a wave they will self drain so really nice system here I've opened up on the four peak we've got these hatches you see on both four peaks you get generous storage down below and you got some little uh, mini seats uh, for your dolphin watching there nice big trampolines and your anchor runs center line so easily access to that chain and then down here on the front of the boat a few things you're going to notice you've got your windlass there center line and then you've got some storage compartments but note that they've got the seating here which is really great and again the vertical windows which are nice to the lagoon that do open up so you get some ventilation and you can hand stuff up to the front of the boat it does have a ladder here if you need to hop up on the coach top and then you'll see you've got your uh, self-tacking uh, jib set up really good access to the sail so really nice area up here on the bow very functional nice fun trampolines and a really great setup okay we're going to go ahead and uh, go back down and take a look at the main salon oh one feature i wanted to point out this does have a bolstered seat on it so you can be standing here kind of leaning back or you can be seated seated down like that so this is nice it's something we see in a lot of power boats but now we do get a bolstered seat on the catamaran so you just lean back get a view of everything and it makes it really easy to walk through this area if you're going from the starboard hall down to the cockpit area now here you're going to notice these uh, doors the door on the starboard side slides all the way out of the way and then on the port side you've got this nice uh, window area here that opens up to the galley so again one of the features i love about the lagoons is the trim and the woodwork and the quality of all this you know you got some nice leather here you got a uh, really nice warm feeling you get a mount for your tv there and then we've got cold storage here on the uh, starboard side so uh, looking across this does have a real uh, nav station to it um, so you've got an area there for your charts you can put another chart plotter there in the nav station and then just after that you've got your uh, l-shaped galley so you've got a three burner stove top looks like you've got an oven down below additional cold storage and a nice sink there looks like it does have a filter for some drinking water and then this is a nice storage cabinet area there as well so really great visibility here from the main salon now this boat is the owner's version and we will head down on the uh, port side companion way here and check out what that looks like okay so to the aft here we're gonna start off with a semi walk around berth really great light huge hull side windows they open for ventilation you've got the flush hatches up top and then again you've got another hatch there in the back of the boat as well okay then looking midship you've got a little settee you've got a desk there vanity perfect for storing laptop or makeup and then this sliding area here will completely uh, enclose this area and give you a ton of privacy and then you'll note that it does have these nice stainless steel poles on the furniture to give you access to the hanging lockers so outboard on the port side really generous area there and then moving forward here we've got our electric toilet we've got our vanity sink storage up above and uh, again this will slide back and forth here with the mirror so you can uh, store different things and get access to them you've got a completely enclosed shower here nice hatch up above for ventilation and then your hall side windows and you do have a nice curtain system there from Dometic that will slide uh, up and down so super nice owner's stateroom and uh, again with all these poles you get access to mechanical systems here on the inboard and then I'm going to slide this to open back up so there is a uh, hatch there emergency escape as needed and then we're going to head back up and we're going to go down on the uh, starboard side hall so this particular one is laid up as a three two so we're going to move forward so this is our forward berth starboard side see so a little storage nook there 
nice lighting throughout. We've got some uh, hanging lockers here. Really big hanging locker right there. And then this is your door here. And behind that door you get additional storage. So, big fan of this setup. And I actually like that it only has the two bathrooms. That way you do get uh, sufficient space in the bathroom here on the starboard side hall. So completely enclosed shower with the hatch up above. And then when we close the door here, you see we've got the electric toilet and the quick look at the sink there. And uh, ventilation up above that. And then our final stop is on the aft starboard side. Got huge hull side windows. And then we've got our hatch up above and the hatch in the aft that open up. And then there is a, a window also in the hull side window that will open up and give you some additional ventilation. And again, this berth is a semi walk around as well. So you don't have to jump up into the bed. You got easy access there. And then again, here's your uh, emergency escape hatch. So final look around the uh, salon of the 2021 Lagoon 40 here and available in Fort Lauderdale. On behalf of myself, Tony Smith, and the rest of the team at Atlas and Denison Yachting, we'd like to thank you for checking out the 2021 Lagoon 40. If you're in the market for a boat like this this season, please feel free to reach out directly to me at the contact information below. For additional information, please email me at ts at denisonyachting.com. Also, feel free to text me at 404-805-9819. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below, and be on the lookout for additional videos 